Okay, so first of all, I am going to use the two column formula to put all of the numbers into one column. So these four numbers here become these four numbers here, and these four numbers here become these four numbers here. And then I will take the labels. So I will select the labels going down the side, and then use an AND symbol to join them to the labels going across the top. And then I end up with all of the different combinations of the labels. I want to be able to split these later, so I'm going to add a dash into the middle of these inside quotation marks, and then I need another AND symbol to join this to the end and I end up with dashes in between everything. Then I will put all of this into a text join formula. The delimiter needs to be something different this time, so I will use a full stop, and then I'll do one to ignore empty cells, even though it doesn't matter in my case as I don't have any empty cells, and then all of the rest of this becomes the text and close brackets and enter. And now all of the text is joined together in one cell. Then I will do the opposite of this using the text split formula. This will be the text that I am splitting, and then the column delimiter will be the dash, and the row delimiter will be the full stop. And now I have the labels set out the way that I want them. I have four A's here, and then quarter, one, two, three, and four. Then I have the same thing for the B's, and the same thing for the C's. Now I will join the labels and the numbers together, so I'll copy the two column formula here, and then I will use a H stack formula to horizontally stack these two arrays. The text split formula will be the first array, then the second array will be the two column formula which I just copied. And now everything is joined together. The next step is to make it so that I can select the whole array rather than having to select individual parts of it. To do this for the numbers, I will use the drop formula. I'll select this array and then drop the first row and the first column to end up with just the numbers. Then, in order to do this for the labels, it's a little bit more complicated. I'll select all of the first column, and then join this to the first row. And I end up with extra values here, which I don't want, but I can get rid of these using another drop formula. And I will drop the first row and the first column again and then I end up with the combination of the labels that I had before. And I need to add the dash in here again. And then the next step is to find a way of selecting just the first column and the first row. So I will do this using a take formula. I'll select this array here, and then I want to keep all of the rows, and I want to take just the first column, so I'll put the number 1 in here. And then for the first row, I will use another take formula, and I'll select this array here, and then I want to take the first row, and then that's all we need for this formula. Now that I've got all of the formulas, I will combine them together. So I'll copy this take formula here, and then that will replace this cell reference here. Then I will take this formula here, and that will replace this cell reference here. Then I'll copy the whole of the drop formula, and that will replace this part of the text join formula here. Then I will copy the drop formula for the numbers, and that will go inside the two column formula. Now that I have the formula set up, I will turn this into a lambda formula. And I'll have one parameter, which I'll call array. 
and then all of the rest of this will be the calculation and we'll close brackets at the end. Now I'll copy the word array and in this formula I now have three cell references which are all the same and they're all for the whole array. So I can replace these with the word array. Then to test this formula, I'll need an open and closed brackets at the end and then select the whole of the array. And I get the same results. Now that I've tested the lambda formula, I can copy all of this except for the open and closed brackets at the end. And then I'll go to formulas and define name. And I will call this unpivot. And in the refers to box, I will paste in the formula that I just copied and OK. Now I can do equals U and select unpivot and then select this whole array and it will unpivot that array for me. In order to test this formula, I will use it on another table. So I'll do equals unpivot again and then select this range here and it will unpivot that table for me. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to make an unpivot formula in Excel and that is everything.